Well hello guys, Poke Player, and today I'm back for another Wi-Fi battle and this is another Dur battle against Trent aka Lex Lime and he's been on the channel for two battles right now and this is the third one. This is a Dur battle as I said before and well basically if you don't know what Dur what I mean with Derp quite yet, you just bring the lowest tier Pokemon. Uh, it is actually FU or PU, but it is just even lower than PU because PU actually concludes things like Avalok and um, can't think of the name right now. At least a lot of things that should be higher up. So, well, this is a really cool battle. I got to showcase some cool guys, and he did as well. So, we're starting off with my Chelsea because that is the Scarfed Luminion, which is a really cool Pokemon. It did good jobs for me. And I go for the Surf, knowing that it will maybe to it go with him, but it, fortunately enough it doesn't. And he sets up his Self Rocks. I don't have anything to actually get rid of the, those, so that's a bit unfortunate. So, right now, he gets his leftovers, and I go for another Surf, because I know I can 3 it KO it from this range, a close 3 it KO, and he goes for the toxic right there which actually mattered in the long run which is kind of unfortunate but it doesn't really matter right now so after that he well after the toxic damage right now um, my opponent decides to sack off his carbing so that's another kill for Luminion I think it's on four or five kills right now it's pretty good for a 69 special attack set it's really nifty so now I get some more toxic damage and my opponent switches into the Dene which is a really problem in this match so I have to switch out I know the surf won't do enough damage and he will kill me with a full switch or a wild charge but my opponent turns out to be physical and goes for the U-turn I didn't expect that I, I thought it would be special and it just went for U-turn and did a buttload of damage to my Carnifine which is a bummer and Carnifine is actually not very useful anymore at this at this point of the match. I don't run leftovers because I run big root with um, lead seed Giga Drain. It's really cool. So now go to my Phallus, <coughs> knowing that I can take flamethrowers because I'm maxed in both defenses, special defense and defense with pain split. It's a pretty cool combination. It works kind of well. It is just a really cool uh, typing because it fits in a lot of teams. Even though it's weak to a lot of things, it's just a really cool Pokemon Lunatone. So now my opponent switches into the Maverick and I set up my Stealth Rocks to punish his switches. So we're both having Stealth Rocks on our sides. Which is a bummer. I, I like playing without Stealth Rocks. I would prefer a playstyle without hazards, but I just run it because of that. I misclicked right here and went for the Earth Power. I did have Ice Beam on this guy. And my opponent goes for the... Dragon Dance, but I knew I was kind of safe to let him set up because I had Roar on my um, on my Lair one, so I know I I could have just let him set up and Roar him out. I know the self works on the field, but I was just hoping that he wouldn't go for the Earthquake, but after looking it up, I don't even think Shogun learns Earthquake. So now I go for the uh, Ice Beam, doing quite a significant amount of damage, but it is not that bad considering I'm not specially offensive infested so now he goes for the crunch that will definitely kill my uh, lunatone because it doesn't have that great defense stats 75 around that around that um, base stat so now I go into my Laron to actually roar him out but here is the problem he has roar as well I didn't expect that at all so that was really fun actually, <laughs> it was a really cool thing to see. So I went for Roar, but he's faster so he roared me out first. That's really funny. So now, luckily enough I get roared into my uh, low HP Carnivine, so that's not that bad. So I go back into Covered, not wanting to risk him actually roar once again. So I just go for the uh, Rock uh, Tomb, I believe. But he decides to not roar me out and goes for the... Um, Dragon Claw, which doesn't do enough because my uh, Laron is a really defensively built Pokemon and it's really, it is amazing in defenses. The typing is pretty good. 
Even though it's weak to uh, earth, uh, I mean ground and fighting two times, the rest of its stats are pretty good to actually cover that. And it has a good uh, iron typing, which is great. So now I'll go for the iron head, thinking that it will kill. But it lifts it on a slither of health, which is unfortunate. But it doesn't really matter in the long run, because the dragon claws still don't do that much damage. So now Aurora I'm out, knowing that he will get, uh, will die on the switch in. And I roar out into the castle. I sh probably should not have done this, but I did. So he goes for the sunny day right here. And I just went for the rock tomb, kind of sacking it off, but he... Looks, it looks like he is the sun form. Really cool to see a cash form, by the way. It's a really awesome Pokemon. It needs to get some more usage. So I go for the Rock Tomb, and it's super effective, which is great. So I thought I could maybe outspeed it after the speed drop. I'm not really speed invested, but unfortunately I don't. So that means that I have to take another Solar Beam to the face. He actually could have come for Weather Ball. Would have done more damage, but... After all, it still didn't matter. It actually worked out for him even better because that means that there is some extra sun teams, uh, sun turns on the field, which is unfortunate for me because my Luminion is not able to actually do enough with all those sun, sun turns. And I think his either his Charmeleon or his um, or his cast form ran the heat rock because the sun is up for a long time. So now the solar power. Reduces a bit of Charmeleon's power, but it is uh, HP, but it is a really cool Pokemon. So now I go to my Engelbert, my really cool investment. I went for the Sky Attack, which I probably should not have done because he switches into the um, Shell Gun to actually get uh, to sack it off. But I went for the Sky Attack. <laughs> so it looks great and all. But it's not hitting someone, so that's a bit of a bummer. That's a waste of a 100 base power move with the white uh, power herb. So now he goes into the, 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 the Dene. Wow, that's a really weird name. And I go for return, hoping that it will do kind of good damage. But this Dene is probably this Dene is probably HP infested because it did literally nothing, which is a bummer. So now I had sacked off my this thing, which I should not have done. I should have just sacked off my Chelsea from this point, but I thought the sun would run out, but unfortunately it doesn't. Because this, if the sun would have ran out at that point, that meant that the Surf would have killed the, the Dene. But unfortunately enough it doesn't, so that means I, have, I am forced to go for the U-turn because the Surf would not have killed in the sun and I have to sack off my Thurk. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do anything this battle. Oh man, it's so fortunate. Fuck, is such a cool guy. Oh well. It doesn't really matter, but now the Denny is low on health with the recoil from Wild Charge, so I can just go into my Scarfed uh, Luminion and go for the Surf. Hoping that the Sun will finally run out after so many turns, but what do you know, the Sun is still up. I was so annoyed by that, but either way, it didn't really matter in the result because. He can just switch into his full beat, and his full beat actually has uh, substitute, so he would have been able to actually outstall me with that. Maybe not enough turns. Looking at that, it might have been short, but I know the Soxic would have not uh, would have wrecked me up either way, and been able to actually kill m me uh, in the long run. So it didn't really matter right now because the sun is still up. I'm not able to actually get off. The uh, kill the substitute, which is a really bummer. I would, I did actually expect that to happen, but unfortunately enough, he doesn't. And he goes for the Giga Drain, being able to take out my Chelsea. Chelsea trying his best, but it's not enough, and that is the game against Trent. Once again, check him out. Well, I didn't say that in this video, I believe, but check Trent out. I will leave the link of his Twitter and his YouTube channel in the description. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like, let me know if there are any pokes you want me to use in the derp tier or in any other tiers. And well then I see you guys in my next video.